Marcel drives a six-axle, 44-ton articulated vehicle. He's aware that the driver is responsible for the condition of the vehicle at all times. Marcel is the senior driver at his company and has been asked to instruct some new drivers in carrying out effective vehicle first-use checks. Marcel explains that on a vehicle exceeding 3.5 tonnes, the tyres must have a tread depth of one millimetre across three quarters of the width of the tyre and around the complete circumference of the tyre. Marcel explains that where a DVSA examiner sees a defective tyre, he could issue a PG9. This has the effect of prohibiting the vehicle from being driven until the tyre is replaced and the vehicle is cleared by an authorised examiner. There are four tyres on the axle Marcel is inspecting and the axle is plated to 10,500 kilograms. Each tyre must therefore be rated to 2,625 kilograms. To check their knowledge, Marcel asks his trainees which of the following, on its own, would not make a tyre illegal. A cut of 20 millimetres or 5% of the width of the tyre. Where a wheel and tyre have been removed to facilitate replacement, it is recommended that the wheel nuts be re after a certain interval. What is that interval? 30 minutes or 50 kilometres. What is the speed limit for this type of vehicle on a dual carriageway in Scotland where the national speed limit applies? 50 miles an hour. Marcel explains to his new drivers that most vehicles are now fitted with a close proximity mirror pointing to the near side front wheel. What is the purpose of this mirror? to enable the driver to check for pedestrians, cyclists, etc., particularly when turning left. What does Marcel advise his trainees should always wear when carrying out their vehicle walk-around checks? A high-visibility vest or jacket, 